the top five anime surprises of 2023. Now I understand it's only August and there's a lot of the year left, but there are some anime that have already surprised us and there are five specifically that I could think of from this year. So we're gonna get into it. Now, before we get into it, if any of you guys have watched any of these animes I'm about to mention, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and comment down below as it really helps the algorithm in these videos. At number one, we have Oshi Noko. This one has taken the year by storm. People love it. I read the manga before I even watched the anime and the manga was incredible and they're still following up with the manga as well but this is just an incredible anime so let, let's talk about it a little bit so without ruining too much of it there are two main characters in this show which is ruby and aqua that's all i'm gonna say so those are the two main characters now some of the main talking points of this is the revenge plot of it it's more of like a revenge anime a mystery anime which you won't really expect going into it as you sort of think it's more of an idol anime but it is a revenge anime now, some two massive highlights of this anime. One is the animation. The animation is beautiful. It's very vibrant. It's very dark when it needs to be. It's just a really good animated anime. It's the production team is incredible. It's story driven. It is just really well done. And number two is the characters. The character development and the fleshing out of the characters is incredible. You really get a sense of where the characters are coming from and why they are thinking the way that they think. Hence why I believe the Oshinoko is one of the main surprises of 2023. Number two, which sort of wasn't a surprise because I think we all knew it was going to be good, was Hell's Paradise. Now, Hell's Paradise, the manga was incredible. I absolutely loved the Hell's Paradise manga. I don't have it personally on my bookshelf, but I have read it on my little Kindle. Now, one of the main things that makes Hell's Paradise so good is the fight scenes. The fight scenes in this anime is incredible. You will not find fight scenes like this anywhere else with the vibrancy, with the level of animation in it, with the colors... Uh, the talking points just the, the the fight scenes in this anime are incredible it is awesome to watch and like oshinoko the characters in this anime are super in depth with sort of the inner battle of their thoughts and it, whether or not they think what they're doing is good because it might not be good it might not like should this dude murder 12 people i mean he does gabby maru's a beast and did he just murder 12 people and slip this dude's head off and punch this dude through a wall he might have he's a beast he does what he's got to do that's why hell's paradise is a non-surprise surprise but i had to put it on the list now an absolutely massive surprise this year was heavenly delusion this this anime completely came out of left field and took everyone by storm. First off, the production of this anime is incredible. It is beautiful. It is stunning. It is animated so, so, so well. Yes, the actual animation frames itself might be a little bit slower than that sort of like 60 frames per second that some people might be expecting, but it is just so breathtakingly beautiful. And on top of the animation, the sound engineering in this and the music is so good the first episode will keep you gripped it is insanely good how well they engineer the sound every step every pebble that's moved everything that's ever done is incredible and the main part of it is the story and the setting the setting of the post-apocalyptic world and the story of how it became a post-apocalyptic world the monster designs all this sort of stuff is incredible number four by the way these aren't in order but number four zom 100 i already made a video about this it's the video before this video so if you want a more in-depth process of that go watch that video because it's hilarious you guys have smashed the support for it. it's incredible but zom 100 is one of those surprises where no don't get me wrong it's not one of the best animes of 2023 not by a long shot but it's one of the biggest ones that has surprised me with how it took its approach to the zombie apocalypse its animation style its character development it's one of those big surprises. It's not a top 10 anime by any means. It might be on some people's list for 2023, but it's one of those ones that really surprised me. And number five, as you know, I am needed of love and affection. I've said it multiple times in my YouTube videos, but I love romance anime. Yes, call me what you want. I like two people getting in love. Now, one of the main ones that have come out, don't get me wrong, there was Horror Mia Season 2, which is more of like a side plot sub story. I didn't like it too much compared to the original Horror Mia. But the main one that's come out is Skip and Loafer. Yes, this one took a little bit bit of a surprise in the romance department one of the main points for this is its unique anime style it's very uniquely animated it's cool it's more like 
drawn anime, if you sort of get what I'm coming from. It's more of a drawn style rather than an anime style, and I think it works really well for the story that it's trying to develop. And this shit's just wholesome. It's a, just a very wholesome anime. It's just very nice to watch. It's, it's nice to have a just a nice depiction of a relationship between two people without it getting way too weird, which a lot of these animes do. So those were my top five surprises of 2023 when it comes to anime. If you guys enjoyed this video or have watched any of these animes, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to keep reading manga, keep watching anime, and have a fantastic day. Peace out.